Hi, this is Joe from MBS Australia. This is a quick demonstration video showing the basics of SpeedSpec functionality in the MBS Chorus. So once logged in to the platform, your current projects will be listed here as buttons or use the list view if you like. You can easily create a new project here and then you'd add all the details you like for your project, either a thumbnail, for example, project code, I'll just use today's date, project title, the speed spec, and you can enter in all these extra bits of information, then even use the um, map function we have here to find any address in the world, and then a project description. Once you've created the project, you'll come back into your project's uh, list overall. So again, search for it using the bar here or from the list option. So I use this speed spec form that I've just created. So no specifications yet, I want to add one. And here as well, I'll enter various names that I want to, to have for my specifications, for example, architectural interiors. Um, then crucially, this is where you choose the speed spec option. So all the content is ready for you to go there. Now that takes you directly into your specifications. Uh, so you can start adding content as you wish. So for example, searching some terms in order to add in the bits that I want. That gives lots of results here, as you can see. And I'll start adding the bits of content that I actually want to have in this spec. Searching separately, perhaps doors, I can add in a few of these as well. There's additionally a good option to add in a template clause, which is a completely blank available one for you to use. So as soon as you add that in, um, it'll, as you can see, they're all stacking up on the left-hand side here. As soon as I enter into that, that is a blank clause where I can then click onto that clause. The gray line appears around the outside and you can start typing in information here as you need to. Come back into one of the other clauses. You can see all of the content is there written and organized just as you'd expect. So the uh, content is all set out in the same way as you would expect from SpeedSpec. If you want to add or amend a clause, for example, you can click in the title here um, and then use the three dots, for example, to add a rows above or below or perhaps an indented row. And as soon as you do that, the numbers will automatically add in and you need to um, you choose what you want to add. You can also um, park the, cl the clause completely with the P button which shows it as crossed out, which means it will uh, not print in the final output. A uh, good option to leave notes on each particular clause as well. Again, using the three dots, you can add a note row to this item. Um, over on the right hand side there, it tells you which actual clause you're in and you add the note down the bottom. As soon as you send that, it's gonna be associated with this particular clause. You'll see it's popped up here as well. So as soon as I save that clause and then navigate back into my specification, you can see it will be featured up here on the notes panel. So very handy to communicate with your project team or uh, design team as you need to. As mentioned in the previous video, the tracking option is really good for um, seeing who has made what changes to your specification. That's shown with a small um, writing here in grey where it tells me um, who has been rendering the information and when, and you can turn that on and off using those three dots and the show last edited details really handy for your audit trail. One final thing just to demonstrate is the output where when you have all your content stacked up here you can use the tick box to choose a few of them you'd like to export and the actions button there to click publish selection. There's a few steps to go across here as you need to um, to choose what you want to do with your spec. There's then a compare against previous um, publications which is really good. It will tell you what's been amended or uh, added or deleted. Then you can add in all the notes as usual with all the um, information you want to say about the spec that will be on the front page. And then finally, a really handy style sheet, which is um, kind of branded options for your company to, to show certain colors or fonts. And that allows you to, to be very particular on what you want to show for your branding. So once I publish that, that will gradually export and then process down the bottom corner. And I'll just open that up for you shortly just to show how that content is uh, is displayed. So plenty to learn. Um, as you can see, it's all pretty intuitive. Um, if at any point you need any assistance, please get in touch and we'll be happy to run through some extra bits for you.